it really is the last of its kind, probably the first and last arcade of the 21st century, over here in the UK anyway. I think the generation of kids that are growing up now, most of them have started gaming after the arcades were really pretty much gone. So to them, this is kind of a new experience. Social gaming is something that everybody should experience. I think it offers a lot of things to the player that you simply don't get being sat at home with your earphones in. Instead of playing online at home alone, uh, you get to come down here and you get to play with some people who are incredibly passionate about the game and just really welcoming great community. Why did the arcades close down? Rise of the consoles. Another argument would be software piracy. What really happened was that a lot of the old timers, per se, who used to run the arcades back in the 80s and 90s, they dissolved their idea of the arcade. Uh, the tournament I run is for a game called Street Fighter Cross Tekken. We have people that are like bankers or people that are like taxi drivers, any sort of walk of life, they'll come down here and it's good to sort of like mix and mingle with different cultures. You know, we get many more people coming through here all the time, playing old classics, new games. We've had kids turn up with their parents as young as like seven or eight, and we've had people who are sort of reaching their 50s. A guy in his late 30s, early 40s, isn't gonna wanna play one of these energetic dance games. And by the same rationale, maybe young kids aren't necessarily going to kind of want to play Donkey Kong or Pac-Man, although there have been instances where it does happen. <laughs> Nostalgia is something that generally just hits you. It's not something that you're really physically immerse yourself in. But here, you know, for people who haven't seen games in maybe over 20 years, they can walk in and see them again. You know, not only that, they can play them.